888-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. Shop everyday low prices on a huge selection of home furnishings at Living Spaces. Find over 200 living rooms with sofas starting at $350, over 100 bedrooms with queen beds starting at $150, and over 100 dining rooms with dining sets starting at $250. Also, discover clearance deals that are up to 60% off. Plus, get special financing for 60 months on any purchase with your good credit and get free next day shipping. Save big every day, only at Living Spaces. Living Spaces. Real superheroes don't wear capes. They don't have superhuman strength. They don't scale buildings. Real superheroes aren't out of this world. They're the ones who are in it, who help preserve it. Because when you visit the San Diego Zoo, you help protect animals around the globe. And your superpower can change the world. Right now at three, another landslide stops coastal trains in their tracks. We're live where the hillside gave way. Hollywood directors may be wrapping up a new contract. What this means for writers still on the picket line and the actors casting ballots for their own potential strike. Plus weather whiplash after a weekend full of sun, June Bloom returns with a vengeance. Will it last all week? The NBC4 News at three starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano, and we begin with developing news out of Orange County. Coastal train service is in the OC shutdown again after another landslide sends debris down onto the tracks. It's happening in San Clemente at the site of the historical Casa Romantica Cultural Center and Gardens. NBC4's Tony Shin is live at near the slide in San Clemente. Tony. Yeah, Annabelle, let me go ahead and show you and our viewers exactly what this hillside looks like because it does not look very good. I want you to notice one thing, all those cracks. Well, those cracks were not there last night. Since then, this hillside has been slowly cracking and splitting apart. Almost the exact same thing happened back in April. Walter Switzer started recording video of the landslide at about 7.30 this morning. He says he noticed this section of land below Casa Romanica Cultural Center and Gardens beginning to move at around 6.30. I just saw the crack form, the original smaller crack. That's when he took this picture of that small crack going across the hillside. But over the next hour, other cracks began to form, causing boulders and dirt to fall onto the railroad tracks below. A railway safety crew spotted the danger and immediately shut down train service through San Juan Capistrano and San Clemente. This is the second landslide in the exact same spot. The first one happened on April 27th causing Casa Romanica's back patio to fall about 20 feet. As we were here with heavy equipment last night, our contractors grading the slope behind us. It was smooth, it was well rounded off, and we felt 11 p.m. last night, finally got it done, we're good. Mayor Chris Duncan says the new slide is a surprise to him and city engineers who have been trying to stabilize and reinforce the hillside to prevent further movement. I think what, what you see is that this material on the hillside is sandy, it's got it's a clay material. It doesn't stick well together. It wants to slide and it's it's smooth. We may need to remove that material and get some other material in there that's better suited to be on a hillside and not, you know, not likely to move in the future. The property is owned by the city, so the mayor is hoping to get assistance from the state and federal governments to help cover the cost of the repairs. A spokesperson for Casa Romanica wants the public to know that they will remain open. And so that includes all of our beautiful galleries, historic galleries, art galleries, uh, our butterfly garden, and our courtyard atrium, which is really the heart of Casa Romantica and where our concerts and activities will take place all summer. The nonprofit is also asking the public for donations to help pay for the restoration of the patio and other areas that were lost during the first slide. And we hope people will make gifts of any size at casaromantica.org for our emergency landslide campaign. Right now, engineers are still out here trying to figure out exactly how they can stabilize this hillside. As for that train service, it's also still unclear exactly when that will be restored. That's the latest from here. Reporting live in San Clemente, I'm Tony Shin, NBC4 News. And that really is a sight to see. Thank you very much for that, Tony.
All right, let's go outside. We're looking live.